let them die. So says a vice president for the Virginia PTA, except without all the vitriol. Welcome back to Bible Bears, everyone. I'm Ryder. So I'm going to talk quickly about a story many of you may have heard about. It's about a vice president of training for the Virginia PTA who had some choice words for those who don't support critical race theory. Additionally, we're going to do the joke of the day. I'm going to talk about who we should be praying for today, and I'm going to flash up the verse of the day. Before we get into all this, don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you will be alerted when I post new videos. And if you would like to support this channel, please hit that subscribe button. All right, now for the bad dad joke of the day. And I'm hesitant to even share this joke with you because it kind of makes fun of a portion of the population. It's stereotyping, but it's funny, so I'm going to tell it anyway. It's a blonde joke. So there was a young blonde girl, 16, 17 years old, who wanted to make some money for the summer. So she decided that she was going to sell her services as a handyman. So she goes into a affluent neighborhood, she knocks on the door, says, hey, is there anything around your house that I can help you with? And the man said, well, you know what? You could paint my porch for me. How much would you charge? And she said, well, I'll charge you 50 bucks. And the man said, only 50 bucks to paint my porch? That's fantastic. Go out in the shed, paint, brushes, everything you need is in there. And the girl said, terrific. And off she went. The wife over here in the conversation said, she does know that our porch wraps all the way around the house, right? And the man said, yeah, I'm sure she does. Don't be so cynical. And the woman said, well, I guess you're right. I guess I've been reading too many of those dumb blonde jokes that I keep getting emailed. So a short while later, the young blonde girl shows back up at the door and says, I'm all done. And I even had extra paint left over, so I applied a second coat. The man was like, fantastic. Here's your 50 bucks, and here's an extra 10 bucks as a tip. And the girl says, great. But before departing, she says, oh, but by the way, you have a Lexus, not a porch. Brilliant. Okay, now on to our story. Michelle Leet, who is the VP of training, for a Virginia, uh, Virginia PTA up in Fairfax. She's also the VP with the Fairfax NAACP. She gave a little speech to a group of pro-CRT, critical race theory supporters, in which she said, uh, let them die. Meaning, let anybody who opposes CRT, let them die. In her speech, she said, uh, well here, I'm just going to show you a little bit of that speech. It's kind of boring, but here's a few seconds. Let's deny this off-key band of people that are anti-education, anti-teacher, anti-equity, anti-history, anti-racial reckoning, anti-opportunities, anti-health people, anti-diversity, anti-platform, anti-science, anti-change agent, anti-social justice, anti-healthcare, anti-worker, anti-LGBTQ+, anti-children, anti-healthcare, anti-worker, anti-environment, anti-emissions policy change, anti-inclusion, anti-live and let live people. Let them die. Don't let these uncomfortable people. Now her speech makes little sense to me because she says anybody who's anti-CRT is essentially also anti-children, anti-LGBT, anti-worker, anti-help people, and even anti-live and let live. Which is ironic because she's saying if you are anti-live and let live, then you should die. Which is basically as anti-live and let live as you could be. Now what is really disturbing about this video is how when she says, let them die, everybody starts clapping. What's going on here? Now, to be fair, and according to an interview that she did, Michelle Lee did with Washington Post, she wasn't saying, let those people die. She was saying, what she meant to say was, let their ideals die. And she realizes the way it came across, along with the pause for the applause, 
after she said let them die was pretty ineloquent as she suggested. Now she has since resigned from her post which I think is a fair and just move considering that her rhetoric of let them die could easily be misconstrued as let those people die. Now critical race theory which essentially says that white man is bad and black people can't succeed because they're black because certain social constructs in society have rigged the system. There's systemic racism pervasive throughout every nook and cranny of society which holds the black man down and allows the white man to succeed. Many people oppose this theory. They certainly don't want it taught in schools. Teachers unions across the country have are pushing for this big time. So CRT has come under fire, uh, has been very uh, publicized in Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia is very liberal, but even parents up there do not want it to be taught to their kids in school. And as a Christian, I think we should oppose this. I don't think any uh, curriculum in school should teach uh, divisiveness of this nature by suggesting that one race is superior to another or that one race has rigged a system to constantly uh, subdue and oppress another race. Is there racism in the country? Oh, absolutely. Is there systemic racism to the degree that CRT suggests? No. And we focus so much on the divisiveness and every act of racism, we ignore the overwhelming support that we find throughout our culture through whites helping blacks and blacks helping Latinos and Latinos helping whites and Asians helping whites and whites helping Indians and Indians helping Asians. It's overwhelming. There's so much goodwill in this country that we ignore in favor of this, uh, this, this, this divisive and evil rhetoric that constantly goes on. But here's my Christian reaction to it. And I'm just going to read a few verses from the Bible. This is in Acts 17, starting with verse 26. Now listen to this. This God made us in all our diversity from one original person, allowing each culture to have its own time to develop, giving each its own place to live and thrive in its distinct ways. His, God, his, God, his purpose in all this was that people of every culture and religion would search for this ultimate God, grope for Him in the darkness, as it were, hoping to find Him. Yet in truth, God is not far from any of us. For you know the saying, we live in God, we move in God, we exist in God. As far as I'm concerned, CRT has no place on our schools. I, of course, I believe God has a place in our schools, but I understand we have that separation of church and state. But although, that, although we can't teach about God, we can all sure teach our children and treat our children as though Christ shines through us. We were all made equal in God. We all live in God. We all exist in God. We were all created by God. So in no way, shape or form should we teach that anybody is superior or inferior to another race and that's all i got to say about that what say you leave your comments below now for the prayer of the day i want to pray pray for these two victims of street violence uh happened in california broad daylight two masked men with guns ran up attacked uh, an elderly man who was walking with a cane. Uh, he falls to the ground. Another guy is just walking up. He kind of runs in to try to help out. He gets pistol whipped to the ground. The two uh, assailants then jump into a getaway car piloted by a third man. They drive off. Uh, we need to pray just for... Look, these types of crimes have always happened. Even before we started defunding the police and, and policemen have started quitting because they're just not being supported, these type of daylight robberies have happened. So this could have happened even if police were in full force. But because, you know why? This is the wickedness of man that exists in, in all people's hearts. It's selfish, powered by selfishness and greed and insecurity and cowardice and all sorts of other 
things that the devil has unleashed on this world. So let's pray for these two people that have been hurt. And let's pray for these assailants that they find God, that they bend the knee, go to God, repent of their sins, and atone for this in their future lives. Let's pray for all mankind that we can find more peace and love and goodness in this world. Stop spreading divisiveness, anger, hatred, and let's talk about some of the good things, okay? Like the love just from our fellow man, the love that we can show to people in the grocery store, in convenience stores, and anywhere you go out there. Let's just sh Christ shine through you. Guys, that's all I've got for you. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And I love you. Have a blessed day.